Hi, this is Keith from Lands and Grooves. Today we're going to be covering the Colt Defender, how range day went. Uh, we took the Defender to the range, we took a bunch of guns to the range, and uh, we just wanted to kind of refresh our memories and fire a few guns and, um, you know, um, to take out some uh, weapons that we haven't shot in a while. So we took the Defender with us. I always knew we were shooting 1911s, they're fun at the range. Um, you know, uh, they're, they're just enjoyable to shoot. So I said, well, you know, I want to take the Defender. The last time I went, I took the Kimber Ultra Carry 2. So and it basically is the same setup as this Defender. I enjoy the Ultra Carry 2 and I enjoy the Defender, but it's been too long. So I thought, well, let's get this one dirty and shoot. So I think I shot PMC Bronze through it, um, just some 230 grain, 45 standard full metal jacket stuff. It had zero problems functioning any of that ammo and set it excellent. Um, I forgot what a joy this gun was to shoot. The accuracy is excellent. The trigger, I mean, it's just uh, the, the trigger on it is so light and nice. It's all stock inside. And the reset, very, very, very uh, quick reset. Um, I, I certainly recommend this gun. But uh, if you're in the market for the Defender, I would uh, seriously take a look at this with its um, forged stainless slide and aluminum alloy frame. It is an excellent carry piece if you're a 1911 person or if you're thinking about going from, say, 9 or something like that to 45. Uh, this is a single stack, 7 plus 1. Uh, you know, it just feeds great. I've had zero issues with any of the ammo, whether it be hollow point, full metal jacket. Had any issues with this. This has the three dot sights and the trigger. Uh, it's, it's almost difficult once you shoot 1911s to have good triggers to go back to striker fire and i enjoy my striker fire guns but you notice right away um that the trigger is a hundred percent um i'd say more to my liking in the um uh, in the 1911s so and then that's not to knock on any of my blocks or anything every 20s um but uh i would say that uh this 1911 is excellent machine piece of equipment. I mean, it is finishes excellent. I changed the grips out of this from the G10 to the wood. I don't care for G10 particularly. Um, and that's just my taste. I switched them out. Um, but, uh, I run Chip Cormac mags or, uh, Wilson combat or Ed Brown, but, uh, zero problems. I think I have one or two cold mags that I run with this again, no problem. The only mags that I really stay away from in particular are, um, the Kimber standard mags. Uh, I've had troubles with those in the Ultra Carry, so I basically ditched them and switched my Kimber as well to the Wilson Combat. This got a range. I mean, it is you know, for the three inch barrel, it's very accurate, excellent. With, um, you know, the only, only knock I could possibly give it is on the back here. I remember why I shoot it that uh, because it has that seven round shorter grip, you tend to notice. And we'll try to get in camera frame here the one you squeeze it it kind of bites in your hand right here and it's just a little pointy it doesn't have the router right above it so it tends to jab you just a little bit after after shooting right about here in the overhead camera you can see top bite right in here that it tends to bite you to the back of your hand a little bit um and that's just with the, the nature of this kind of uh, shape of it the, the back end of it so um, I, I would you know uh I would say that only be a problem after you, if you wanted to shoot a lot of rounds through it, but uh, that's about the only possible knock that I can give it is that it doesn't have like a um, this bop area back here. Um, but uh, for its price point, I mean, you can't have everything. You've got a quality built weapon here. You get the aluminum alloy frame, forged stainless slide, three dot sights. Um, the trigger is excellent. I mean, the fit finish is excellent. Um, so at the end of the day, we shot it. His accuracy was completely what I remembered it was, it's excellent, right on par with, uh, you know, any other 1911, whether before, you know, a commander of our size or a government, uh, it is excellent. So, uh, if you're in the market for a three inch and you're thinking about carrying a 1911, uh, this would be something I would look at this in the ultra carry too. So thank you for your time. Um, again, this is Keith Lanza Grooves with the Colt Defender model O 7000 XE. Thank you. Please subscribe.